Hello there everyone, it's SharkyOne4 Shiny Sparky14 and welcome back to more Final Fantasy 1 Anniversary Edition. Last time, we took care of a boss known as Atomos, which was pretty simple I must say, I mean we are level 65 and 66, so, you know, pretty good. Anyways, this time we made it to floor 20, or like, next, last time we made it, oh my god, I'm already screwing up. But, this time we are in floor 20, and remember, like I said in the last video, we could head either left or right. If you go to the right side, you're going to be taken to Shinryu. A very powerful offensive boss. If you go to the left side, we get taken to Omega. A very powerful defensive boss, but that does not mean that he lacks offense. No, he's still powerful. He's not as strong in terms of power against uh, Shinryu, but oh my god. Oh my god. I do not... Okay, you know what the hell am I doing? I have to go left right here. Yeah, but um... Yeah, he's not as powerful as Shinryu, but he is still freaking crazy powerful. Anyways, dude, go in a freaking... Oh my god. I can't even move my character right now. What the hell's wrong with me? Alright, over here. You're gonna get taken to this door. And it's gonna be quite a... Quite an interesting battle. These battles are difficult. Omega and Shinryu. They are difficult. So let's go ahead and see if we're able to handle them. A thousand years it has been since a challenge stood before me. Show me the power you possess. Defeat me if you can. And here we go. This is Omega, people. This is Omega. What you want to do is start off by... Casting the... Where the hell is it? Gloves that cast Saber when used. Okay, Shiny, go ahead and use that. And then you... No, not don't use magic. What the hell am I doing? I meant items. You can go ahead and use a Hermes Shoes. Luckily, we do have three of these. These are going to be helpful. Use a Hermes Shoes on yourself. And then for you, I want to go ahead and get a Proterra going. We're going to start with that. And then the Red Mage can cast Haste on Shiny. That way they will both be hit. That did 765 damage. Did you see that? Oh my god. That's... Wow. That's the most damage we've ever seen from a physical attack. And Shinryu is even stronger. That's that's what's funny. I mean, he, again, this guy's more defensive. Shinryu is more offensive. But that doesn't mean that they both lack in the other department. No, they're both still freaking powerful. But All right. For you, I'm going to go ahead and keep using this. Just keep using the Giant's Clubs. Since you're more of a tank, you're going to be the one handling a lot of the... F yeah, you know. All right. Um, What the hell should I do with you? I'm just going to... Actually, what should I do with you? What the hell? Seriously. Temporarily raise his attack. You know what? Use a strain tonic on him. And then for you, I'm going to go ahead and use a Healaga because I'm pretty sure, yes, pretty sure that, well, something bad. Actually, you know what? I got a better idea. For you, I'm going to go ahead and use the Rune Staff. This thing. Cast Healara. That's going to heal everybody, and then you can go ahead and use a heal log. Now, if he attacks John, that kind of sucks. Which is why I'm working on Shiny right now. Shiny just killed, oh damn, 496. Alright, that's good. I'm worried about one attack. A very famous attack that, man, people really hate Omega for. He's going to use it, don't worry, he will use it. And it's freaking powerful. It seriously is. We just better hope that we are able to deal with this guy. Okay. So Shiny has been sabered twice, which is good, and he's also hasted. I'm going to do an attack just to see how much damage he's going to do. Now, for you, I'm going to go ahead and get a Strength Tonic. Should I use that? I will. Use it on Shiny. And then for you, I'm going to go ahead and get a another Hilaga going. All I'm going to have to be using is Hilaga with you. Seriously, that's it. And use a temper on Shiny again. So let's just see how much... Oh, 2 HP. 2 HP. Okay, did you see that? That was ridiculous. Did you see how much damage I just did with Shiny? And he sabered twice, tempered, and hasted. That's ridiculous. That is why this guy is freaking crazy. Alright, I'm going to attack with you. And then you can go ahead and use the Rune Staff. And obviously i got to heal with you. And as for you, just keep tempering. I mean, there's really nothing else I can do. Oh my god, okay. He killed him. He killed him. Alright, at least the other three are very, very well healed. 
Alright. Yeah, they're actually at maximum HP. 1142, not bad. Alright. That's what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna go ahead and get a... Another saber. What the hell is it? Oh, here's the giant's gloves. Just keep using saber. For you, I mean, that's a given, what I have to do. Full life, obviously. And then, you just keep tempering. Actually, no. Do you have to... Hmm. Because if he uses the item, if he uses the item, if he uses have that freaking powerful move, I'm gonna get screwed. So I need to play defensively. Here we go. Earthquake. Oh god, this move, this move. All right. It usually misses if you're level 65 plus, which is good. It essentially casts death. Plus you have your other items like ribbon and stuff that resist that instant death. You know. Bad thing is that John died. So, you know, he lost his buffs, but that's okay. That's really okay. You're sabered again, so that's not a problem. What I'm gonna keep doing with you, though, is just to rune staff. Just that. And then... You can just keep going. Actually, I'm gonna use a Proterra this turn. Because I do believe I can handle some more defense. Alright, um... No, just temper. Again, temper is all there is to do, really. He hasn't used his powerful move yet, but... I mean, I'm pretty sure he will. Alright, 2,000 damage, that's not bad. Okay, for Terra, that makes me feel a little bit more safe. Now it's... That defense is stacked on everybody but John, and now John has it once. Alright, just keep attacking. And then for you... Um, what else is there to do? I mean, really, no, not much else. Raises agility? Nah. Rune Staff, as usual. I could also get an Invisor going, but no, I'm not gonna risk it. Instead, I'm going to use a heal Laga in case he uses a move, and hopefully you can use the move right after to heal. And with you, strategy as usual, temper. Here it comes, a very powerful move that I was talking about, wave cannon. Alright, see that? It deals 300 plus damage to non-mages and about 200 or so to the mages, which means we need a heal Laga to offset it. If you don't use a heal Laga the turn that it's used, it's going to be kind of bad, it really is. So you do not want to fall behind in heals. And again, it's always useful to be having something to defend with. Anyways, I'm going to be attacking you and then... I do believe it's time for another Hermes Shoes on yourself. This turn, I'm going to use an Invisera. And then for you, get a Temper on Shiny. He just spammed... He's in the, oh my god, he's spamming it now. See that I didn't heal this turn, but at least I'm going to get some buffs going, especially the Invisera. Maybe he'll miss with a physical attack, you never know. So I'm doing about 2,000 damage per turn with Shiny, which is not bad at all. All I know is that this turn I for sure have to use both the item, Rune Staff, and the Magic Hilaga. Here it is. And then for you, same strategy as usual, Temper on Shiny. Earthquake, please do not kill anybody. There's still a chance to hit someone. I mean, it's not in, I mean, it's not common. It's actually rare, but there's still that chance. Which is why if you're a really high level, he essentially wastes turn, which is really good. It really is, you know. A free turn for you? Hell yeah, you really need that. All right, keep attacking with Shiny. And then as for you, I'm gonna go ahead and use some Giant's Gloves on yourself. And now it's time to get a Hilaga going. Again, we are at full health, but I just hope that he uses Wave Cannon first, and then I... Well, you know, you already know. Wave Cannon, yes, alright, so that worked perfectly. The Hilaga will offset it this turn, which is good. So again, he's doing about 2,000 damage or so. Temper keeps working on Shiny. I mean, it seems to not be working, but I know it can keep stacking and stacking a lot, so... It's technically working, I guess. There we go, we just got our HP back, or most of it, I should say. Attack? I want to use... actually... oh my god. No, you're not ready to be attacking yet, dude. You're really not. Let's keep using Saber. And time for another Hilaga. Now, also, another note. Watch your MP count. Watch your MP for your mages. If it starts to dwindle, especially for your white mage, because their skills use much more than temper. You know, temper just uses 10. Whereas Hilagas use up like 20, how much is it, 25 or 30 something? I don't know. It really does start to dwindle, so you have to watch out for the MP. You really, really want to make sure that you do not run out. Make sure to have plenty of dry ethers because those restore 150 per turn, which you really want. 
Okay, this turn I'm gonna attack with both. And I'm gonna use a Hilaga with the White Mage. And then for you, let's get a temper on this time John. Now I wanna see their. Oh god, 316. Okay. Let's see how much damage John does. So he's doing 2200, shiny. And let's see how much John gets. 32 hit. 1643, not bad. Not bad. Um. Attack. Attack. And then for you two. Well, same stuff. Heal like that. Heal like uses over 30. That's crazy. Keep tempering. Keep tempering. That's all there is to do. Oh god. 584. And remember, that's that's with Proterra being used twice. Seriously. That's that's scary. For what the hell? Yeah, see, Masters just Oh my god, they're crazy. They are crazy in how much damage they can do. A lot more than the Knight. But again, I was focusing on the Knight first because he's a tank and, you know, John has a chance to die a lot more than Shiny, which is why I wanted to have a, a secured offensive person, you know. And now I'm going to use a... What the hell am I doing? I meant Temper. Seriously. Let's keep tempering John. Oh, damn. 844 damage. We seem to be, you know, in a good position. John keeps doing some massive damage now. These Hilagas are helping, which is good. This turn, I'm just going to be attacking with the two of you. And then using a... The Hilaga uses 38. Okay. You And then I'm going to be using your turn to actually use a Dry Ether on... The white mage. Because I'm gonna need it. Oh god damn it. Thank god I use a dry other right now because you're gonna be using up a ton. A ton. A ton of MP for a full life. Alright, so this was a waste of MP this turn, but that's okay. Now I'm going to Well, attack with you. And then you hold on, wait, wait a minute. I wanna see something. Yeah, fully restores him, yeah, okay. Another thing, I, I didn't say this. Turbo others are not bad either. 150. Actually, I think I said dry other. The, did I say that? I think I did. I think I said dry others restore 150. No, no, I meant turbo others at the time. Turbo others are not bad to have, but dry others are the important ones because they fully restore the MP. Yeah, I think I screwed up. Sorry about that. Anyways, let's get some magic. Full life, which is going to cost 40. 40 MP. And then for you, I'm going to. I do not want to risk anything, you know, so I'm going to just use the rune staff this turn. In case he uses a wave cannon or something. Whoa, whoa. Okay. There we go. Full life. That's gonna make John... See, that's why you wanted to buff up Knight first. Because his chance of survival is much higher. John, yeah, he can deal more damage. But his chance of death is much higher. So you kind of don't want to be buffing him up. And then he dies and then you lose everything. Seriously. See, now he's all the way from the beginning. Which kind of sucks. It really does, honestly. But... Oh my god, there's really not much you can do. Get some Giant's Gloves on yourself. And then I'm going to use a Britera, everybody. And then you can go ahead and use the Rune Staff. Alright, Wave Cannon, that's not bad. The Rune Staff will heal me a bit, so that's not a problem. The next turn, just use Hialaga, because I'm using Britera too, so... That's gonna heal. I mean, that's gonna be good, you know, it's gonna save us some... Some good amount, I must say. Giant's Gloves, there you go, getting your buffs back all the way. I'm pretty sure his HP is close to really all the way down, you know. Attack. And then for you, I'm going to use a Rune Staff. You can go ahead and get a Hilaga going. And then you can go ahead and get a Temper on Shiny. Earthquake, oh god. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill anyone. Please don't. Thank you. Again, see, I still have heart is pounding out of my chest when he uses it because I don't I don't want him to kill anybody, seriously. I know most likely it's not gonna happen, but still there is a chance, like I said. Okay. He should be close to dying. I'm not really sure. 2,000 per attack now. He has, I believe, 35,000 health, if I'm correct. Something like that. But, you know, still buffing buffing myself up here, some giant gloves. And then you can go ahead and get a Hilaga going. And use a temper on Shiny again. Wave Cannon, oh god. Alright, the Hilaga will offset that. Thank you. Thank you very much, Elysia. 
All right, I did another 2200 damage. Temper and shiny again. Giant's gloves. Okay, you're going. You're coming back up here with your power, John. You really are. All right, let's just both attack, and then you can go ahead and get a Hilaga, and I'm going to get a haste on John. Wave cannon again, really? Well, okay. He literally just keeps having to offset it every single turn. All right. Well, we actually took care of that. Once it flashes, remember, that's the end. So, that was a very long battle. It took almost 16 minutes. Murasame, or Muras Murasame. I don't know. People pronounce this thing in so many different ways. But that is actually... Where is it? Here? A sword, also known as the Demon Blade. Now, who, who can equip that? Let me see. Nope, not you. What about you? Nope. 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 Well, I guess only the ninja can do that, maybe? Yeah, anyways, that's it. Let's just go ahead and take a look at the best cherry now. To find Omega. Here's Omega. 35,000 HP. Look at that defense. 190. That's a lot. Attack, 115. Accuracy, 200. Defense, 190. Agility, 76. Intelligence, 40. Evasion, 95. And magic defense is even higher than defense at 220. Wow. Weakness is lightning, although, I mean, seriously. No, don't use don't use magic on this guy. Don't. Well, we just have one more boss, and that's Shinryu. We have to um, beat him up next time. Yeah, that's right. But the bad thing is that we have to go through this entire freaking dungeon again, because if you try to exit, you can't. Which means I have to go all the way around, all the way back until floor 20, and this time take the right side. Seriously. That's annoying, right? Yeah. Well, let's go out. Do you wish, do you wish to leave? Of course. If, what, if I put no, I'm stuck in this room forever. Seriously. So it's obviously a yes. All right. Well, we're done here. We are done. Back on our ship. Back outside the Lesbian Grotto. Next time, I'm not going to go through the entire Lesbian Grotto again because you've already seen it. I don't want to bore you. So next time, we're just going to be at floor 20. So yes, I'm going to have to be doing a lot of stuff off screen. But we're going to be at floor 20 and we're going to begin the fight with Shinryu. However, I should mention one thing. For Shinryu, you want to be an even higher level. Level 70 is the recommended one. So I will be leveling up first towards level 70. Then the video will begin. Anyways, thank you for watching. Goodbye everybody and until next time.